Welcome back to Green Tea Garden. Today I got the U-shaped metal raised bed from Vajega. And I'm gonna unbox and show you this awesome, amazing bed. This is my second one I got right now. So this thing will last for 20 years plus. It's eco-friendly, high quality material, easy to put together. And if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more garden videos. So this box is pretty small. Uh, don't forget to check in the description box to get your hand on this. Also, I'm gonna leave my discount code so you guys could save some money. This is the discount code is Green Tea Garden. So you can see right here, beautiful. I did get the gray one. It's amazing. And I'm gonna take everything out and kind of removing all the plastic. Just come right at the tip right here. And you see that? That's a extra protection so it doesn't scratch. You can see how clean it is right there. So we're gonna start off with uh, two of the round piece. You can see right there that round piece. And grab some of your screws and right here. That's my round piece. You can see right here, I put the screw from here right through. It's about a four screw. And then from the inside, you have the little washer with the nut. Next step is just putting on this rubber on the top of it. It looks a little tilt because the soil over here is low. So I'm going to have to try to build it up a little bit and then adjust it and set it where exactly. I'm going to put it, make sure uh, before you put this in any spot, make sure you choose the right location. When it comes to filling up this raised garden bed, it's 17 inches down, which is a lot. If you put soil, it's going to be a lot of money. It's going to be really expensive with just soil, and you're not going to get a good airflow or a good drainage. So what do you do? What I recommend to do is we're going to put a whole bunch of big logs, and then that's going to decompose after a long time and giving your plant a lot of nutrition. And after logs, like branches and stuff like that and then we're going to put some dry grass dry leaves um i do not recommend too much of green grass maybe a five percent now we're going to do some compost and then top uh we're going to put a topsoil put in a bunch of big logs in there you can still see i have a lot more to fill i gotta put branches uh right through between of everything now i you could split the logs and put it lower if you want but i don't need to because you could see look i have a at least about eight more to ten more inches high up so what i'm gonna do like this is coming on to fall time i'm only planting all lettuce and spinach and some stuff in here so I, they're all small roots so the logs wouldn't even like bother the roots or anything and then over the winter time this is gonna decompose i'm putting in some branch and uh sticks and stuff like that it's good because i get to clean up the yard like the fire pit area <laughs> and i get to dump it in here so it's a win-win now i'm gonna get some dry grass uh, a little bit of green grass but not too much of green grass or more dry leaves and dry grass i'm adding all dry grass dry leaves i got uh two or three buckets of this this is uh breaking down compost and then i have some old cardboard paper and paper which i'm gonna be tossed uh, between and that's rich kitchen scrap already broken down compost which is gonna power up this bed as the fertilizer and as everything breaking down we're going to constantly get more nutrition to our plant as it's growing Ubuntu, i had some old plants that was already dying and all the soil that's in the container used soil always good to walk on top smash everything down like keeping it flat before adding your fresh soil next step what i'm going to do i'm going to take the hose and water really well let the soil uh you know hydrate it properly from top to bottom and this way the soil is gonna like fall into places and you're gonna see your soil go down just a tiny little bit so you could add some more extra and uh, you could see right here how beautiful this bed is i'm super excited and pumped up about transplanting and putting some plants in here i will transplant some stuff and i will plant some seed i still have time for fall weather here check in the description box for more details and price on this uh, bed also use my discount code green tea guard to save some money so you don't have to pay full price baby and uh thank you so much for watching any question comment below grow your stuff on a garden bed rice bed it's eco-friendly it lasts for 20 plus years it's strong and it makes your garden look beautiful and stuff grows 10 times better and this because it's filled with so much stuff so much airflow between so much organic matter in there and that's going to give a big boost and so i'll see you guys next time don't forget to check my playlist for more video and i do appreciate everyone who's been watching and supporting